In this video, we want to learn how to create an odd geometry like this one, this panel that I will put on my wall. There are like lots of them on this wall and on this wall and even on the ceiling to get the reverb and echo uh, so the microphone can pick a very clear audio. But the geometry that you see here is quite odd. And to create something like this, the best way that I have found is to work with freeform. So in this episode, episode three of when to's and when not to's, I am going to show you how freeform can help your job to create such geometries because freeform is one of the most difficult features in SOLIDWORKS to work with. And this is a good example of when you should work with freeform. Don't forget, it is for surface modeling, therefore it is not exactly for SOLIDWORKS beginners. You need to be upper intermediate or professionals to understand exactly um, the concepts that I'm going to show you in this video. However, if you're a beginner, you would start to gain an understanding of what's possible in SOLIDWORKS. So do not go anywhere, stay tuned. We're gonna create this panel in SOLIDWORKS. So this is what I made, which is combined of four identical components. As you can see, there are four parts and this is how I made it. Let's just move it all the way back up and we wanna see how we started. Everything is started as a surface in the form of a square. So we know how to work with it. Assuming if you don't, this video is not for you, but planner surface of a square, that's fine. Then we go to freeform to turn it into that. Because when we are working with a geometry like this, uh, we need to work with freeform. And that's how I did it. Now, in order to show you what went down before this component was made, I have to recreate it really fast just to show you the best way to work with freeform. So no dimensions here, or actually let's just do give it a dimension, 10. And we wanna go to planner surface and create a surface with zero thickness out of this 2D sketch. And then while we are still in the surface tab, which is freeform, select it. And we need only two curves that cut this square in half. So we add curve. First one should be in the middle. I'm orienting myself according to these two points. So I'm gonna put one here, and then I'm gonna flip it and put one in the middle like that. Then we wanna add a point exactly in the middle uh, here, that's fine. Now, all I have to do is to drag it up in the Z direction and the best way to do it is to just, oh, I'm sorry, Y, or maybe I was wrong. It, Ctrl Z, select it once more, select this, and we want this to go up. And it is obviously this one because the others are now moving. Change this to one, 10. All right, 10 is more like it. Although you see what happens over here when we are not working with guide curves. Uh, continuity, I'm not that sure. No, no. No, no. Maybe if I move, uh, change all of them to tangent, it gets better. All four of it, still like that. It's not that ideal, but since this part will be eliminated later on, I don't care much about it. All I want is this um, heel, this peak that I have created, which is more or less symmetric. And that's good enough for me. I'm gonna click OK and leave it like this. But since this is a surface with zero thickness, we're gonna have to add a thickness to it. So make sure to do it very small. You don't need a big thickness uh, either this way or that way. Doesn't matter. I'm gonna put it on the inside and that's fine. So this is one cone that we just made and all you have to do from this point on is to pattern it linearly with the right distance between each uh, instances. And for that, we use linear pattern, 
we go to bodies first select this whole body and select these two edges for direction one and direction two so uh, this is too much we want them to overlap a little bit because you see that um, these hills are overlapping so in this case instead of 10 I'm gonna use maybe 7 and change this one also to 7 and first we do a control see how they look maybe a little bit more this is not big enough um, I think they need to interact more with each other six and six that's more like it and for that we go back to edit uh, add the number of instances let's just add a couple of more here a couple of more there I'm not sure six or seven both of them should do that's fine and click OK now we have this and these are uh, 5 by 5 25 different solid bodies as you can see here we only need to work with one so I'm gonna add them all together using the combine feature um, they cannot be added together which is weird but doesn't matter let's just try a different way see if we can do it differently if I draw a rectangle from corner to corner and extrude it and try to merge the results it might work unless the issue that caused us not to same issue geometry condition um, all right in this case we're gonna have to go back and evaluate the situation um, I'm gonna reduce the number of instances to two and two it's easier to evaluate Nevertheless, I'm sure I still cannot merge them, but if I can, it shows where the problem is. So I could, that's fine. Now, at this point, because all four were in contact with each other, it depends on the sequence of selecting these solid bodies when it comes to merging them together or combining them together. In this case, I'm gonna use this as a whole solid body, all four of them as one solid body, select direction one and direction two and this time is double the value so we had six now we go 12 and 12 and we leave it like that now we can combine them again all right i'm not gonna make a bigger one because it serves my purpose that's the whole um <clears throat> idea all is left is to use fillet to round these edges and apparently they're not working so let's just start with one if it worked go for the second oh, I think it's one of the inner edges that I'm selecting by mistake so two works but three and four don't so let's just try it separately it does work this time sometimes stuff are like that I don't know why I cannot explain but if you look at this they do actually have these curves over here and we are creating that right here so it's fine and all is left for me to do is to uh, fillet the whole edge as you can see as much as you can do at once do it if it didn't work just select and click OK and then uh, take it from there click OK and then go back to fillet and then do it again probably these other edges are a little bit different also uh, if you want to wrap this up th the bottom cannot be looking like this because we have cavities you need to close this so for that you just create a normal extruded bus by drawing a square corner to corner and this time it should work 10 is too much I'm gonna go one flip the direction and leave it like that it should work didn't it did not work so first let's just create a little bit of clearance I'm gonna use extruded cut to cut my components maybe not this deep but a little bit so we cut everything at one level that's the cross section and now at this surface I'm going to start drawing a 
rectangle or a square corner to corner we could clean this up later and merge it together it works now if you want to get rid of the extra material just select this top surface activate the sketch convert the entities again convert entities and it just selects the outer edge for that i'm going to select inner loops one by one didn't what can we do right click select loop done and then okay now we can go to extrude the cut and get rid of this extra material now we have this so if i wanted to use a linear pattern to create a multiple version of this i would get something like the one i made in the beginning let's just not save it this one like this and after rendering it you get a result like this i hope you like this video if you have any suggestions on what to cover for these wentus send them my way put them as comment below the video i will read and answer every single comment and i will get ideas from your suggestions again if you are interested in learning solidworks all the way from scratch to end make sure to go uh, to the description below this video and click on the link it's going to even be popped up on the screen as an end card i have a free webinar 40 minutes perfect jam pack with a lot of values actually 10 common mistakes every solidworks beginners uh, is making again i have to repeat this 10 common mistake every solidworks beginner is making and i'm sure you're making at least a couple of these if you haven't watched it make sure to do it i will see you soon in the next video